All right, y'all. I want to get real for, for a little bit here, this palm tree. I've been flooded about this boycott NFL stuff that we shouldn't go to their games, buy their tickets, buy their merchandise. I agree with it myself because I stand for the national anthem. I will salute that flag until the day I am put in the ground. I'm very big in supporting my military, my fire rescue, my law enforcement, my EMTs and paramedics. So when I see these overpaid athletes to throw a ball around a hundred yard field, not respect the flag, which stands for the blood that was sacrificed for us to enjoy watching these guys get paid more money than soldiers, than law enforcement, than fire rescue, than EMTs who see people dying on a daily basis, who sacrifice their lives, their bodies, their family, just so someone else can live, so someone else can go watch that game to enjoy themselves. Someone else has died for that. People, are, I've seen it on Facebook, people saying, oh, they're right, they're right, they're uniting on the field, they're standing for one cause. Well, the original cause from what I understand from my research I did was the first person who did it, did it because he was protesting against police brutality. Well, thing is, it's not as rampant as people are overdoing it. Yes, people do get shot. Sometimes cops overjudge the situation. That is true. In this situation, things get heated, lines get blurred. There ain't no lying there. But they're not going out and directly attacking people. They have a reason. They're human beings. They have families. So these people get paid million dollars to throw a ball. It irritates the shit out of me. Excuse my language, sorry. It's, I'm very strong about this. It, it irritates me a lot that people do this. 9-11 was one of the most devastating terrorist attacks on US soil in history. True unity was shown on that day when firefighters and law enforcement and soldiers and construction workers, people didn't know who the heck anybody was, but they went to New York. They went to the trade centers. They went in them buildings as they were crumbling. They climbed flights of stairs. The fire department lost 343 people. A total of over 2,000 people died, not including the law enforcement and the firefighters, not including the soldiers and the National Guardsmen. Come on, people. We got to get real. We got to start thinking about what's going on. This ain't right. So, they all want to take a knee for the wrong reasons. I'm going to have a moment of silence right now as a tribute to those that sacrificed everything, their livelihoods, their families, their loved ones, their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their daughters, their sons. They were people too, and they died protecting us to save us so that these overglorified athletes can go through a ball on a field. So I want to have a moment of silence, y'all. Please, bear with me. That is what it means to show true respect. There's a right way to protest. But, my opinion, 
disrespecting my flag is not one of them. Myself, my family, we will always stand for the flag. If you have anything you want to say about what I'm saying, comment below. I'll listen to what you have to say. If you got facts to back up what, you're, what you want to say to me, please source your facts. Tell me where you found it. I will look into it. And if I am wrong, I will come out and I will say that I was wrong. But I, no matter what, I will still respect my flag. I will still respect my military and my law enforcement and my fire rescue. Anybody that puts their life on the line every day for spare change. Y'all have a good day. God bless. You might see me later tonight doing another video. I don't know yet. This is Palm Tree. I'm out. See ya.